Salute to Hoops, guys. Welcome back. Another day, another video, another day in this crazy hobby of ours. Seems like it's getting crazier by the day, uh, especially since Mosaic Football dropped. There's a whole new group of, of people out trying to get cards, it looks like. So, hope everyone is able to at least try to try to get some or is at least getting some with their local stores. If not, I hope you're not paying too much for resale. Uh, today, before we get into the video, we got some, some new stuff to open. Uh, before we get into, into the video, go ahead and like and subscribe, guys. Still trying to get to 100 followers. Uh, we're almost there. So if you guys could help me out with that, that would be greatly appreciated. And we're just going to get right into it. Um, so today we're gonna, we got some absolute memorabilia cards here. Uh, I've never opened this product before. Uh, these were just at the hobby shop. They were five bucks a pack. Um, I think these were probably, I think these were sold at like the dollar store, which kind of sucks because they obviously are marked up a little significantly there uh, by 400%, but we won't talk about that. So, uh, and I remember like seeing these everywhere when I first kind of started getting into the hobby, uh, but I was never able to find them. Uh, same thing with like the NBA hoops dollar store packs. Uh, so I figured, you know, why not? I've never opened them before. So we're just going to kind of see what they're all about. They're 1920s. So they got this year's draft class in it. So let's see if we can find uh, some top rookies in here. There's seven packs and five cards per pack. And I don't even, I'm not even too, I've seen like them on online and stuff, but I can't really remember what they look like. So let's just kind of get right into it. After that, I'm going to show you just some cards that I've got at the hobby shop today. I got this whole stack of cards right here for 10 bucks, uh, which is not bad considering they were, um, most of them are from the dollar bin. So kind of worked out pretty, pretty well in my favor. So let's get to the first pack here. I hope everyone's enjoying the playoffs. In the background, we got some LeBron. Um, I'm not a Lakers fan, but uh, I think the Lakers are going to end up winning it just because LeBron's a different animal in the playoffs, So, especially the finals. So we got Kyle Lowry for our first one. Eric Paschal, a nice little rookie there. Uh, Jarrett Culver, rookie. Marabilia inserts. Kyrie Irving and Jonas Valanciunas for our first pick. But I am pretty pretty proud of the six, the, not the Sixers, the Heat. Oh, nice little Rui Hashimura there uh, for the Heat. Pretty proud of the Heat for getting this far. Um, I'm a Jimmy Butler fan. You obviously know, guys. I'm a former Chicago, or not a former Chicago Bulls fan. I am a Bulls fan, and he is a former Chicago Bull. So I support Jimmy Butler, Nikhil Alexander Walker, Miles Bridges, and Admiral Schofield rookie. Nice. Okay, some decent rookies in here so far. See if we can score some big ones. Let the Heat kind of scrap their way to the finals, which is cool. Kind of an underdog scenario there since everyone was expecting, you know, Toronto to make another run for it. We got K Love, PJ Washington. There we go. Oh, nice. Sweet. A little Zion Williamson insert there. Not bad at all. Isaiah Roby rookie. And then we got Jason Tatum. All right, so it's not a true rookie card there for Absolute. It's a little rookie insert, but a guy like Zion, not too bad at all. If I can just get this pack open here. If we can get a true rookie card of him, that'd be sweet. We got Dame. Embiid. Nice. Uh, Kobe White insert as well. Dope. Mafandu Kabangeli. And Tyler Hero. Nice, man. Okay, these were kind of kind of loaded. <laughs> For sure. I'm just throwing stuff around here, so let's get to this one. Bruno Fernando is our first rookie. Luka Doncic. These are actually treating us pretty well here. Luka Simonic. Goga. And Chris Paul. Didn't mean to throw you, Paul. All right, two more packs, guys. Two more packs. I believe these are like a lower, not super low end, but kind of like in the realm of uh, NBA hoops, it looks like. We got Zach Levine. A little Brandon Ingram action there. 
RJ Barrett, rookie insert. Oh, nice. Okay, Kobe White and DeAndre Hunter. All right, okay. All right, absolute. I didn't know you were like this. Last pack. Let's see what we can get in here. Absolute with all the all the rookie hits apparently. All right, we got AD, Talon Horton Tucker, Darius Baisley insert. Not bad. Vucevic and our last guy is gonna be John Wall. Okay, so no last pack of mojo in there. Uh, but a ton of rookies for what it was. I mean, we had five. You know, sorry, seven packs. So. That is not a bad stack at all. If we can just get our... I'll go through all the rookies here real quick. Darius Baisley. And we got a nice little Kobe White. Probably separate them. RJ Barrett. Goga. Samonic. You guys know I'm a fan of him, so he's going to go in the winner pile. Little Luca. We got Bruno Fernando. Nice Tyler Hero. Kevin Gelly. Kobe White insert. Isaiah Roby. Zion insert. Take that. P.J. Washington, Schofield, Rui, and Eric Pichal. Some nice hits in there for sure. Especially the Kobe White. Boom. Point guard of the future for Chicago. All right, let's put those over here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. So, and then I'm just going to go over, like, what I got at the hobby shop here. It's nothing too major. Um, I do have one pretty dope card right here, which you probably already see. Flip that over in case no one saw it yet. So here we got like a stack of um, some tops, uh, some chrome, just a bunch of Dirks, uh, old school Dirks. I think Dirks and Steve Nash's. These are both from uh, 2002, so pretty much both in their prime right there. Not too bad at all on those. And I'll just go over these guys real quick. Like I said, there's nothing like too too crazy in here, but there's a lot of pretty cool cards. We got um, Eddie Jones, Tops Chrome, little Kenyon Martin. It's one of my favorite players to watch back in the day. We have a Mafandu Kevin Gelly, uh, certified number to uh, 199. Not bad. Little Jason Kidd action there. Lamar Odom. And then a bunch of these Kobe uh, Bryant cards. Let's see if I can grab them all here. Uh, if, if you guys watch my... I, I have a bunch of these from um, one of my last videos. My last hobby shop haul, I think it was. So these are the same uh, series. The uh, anthology series of Kobe Bryant. So I figured, why not? Like It's Kobe Bryant, living legends. Well, was, sorry, excuse me. Rest in peace to Kobe. Uh, so, I mean, you can't go wrong with Kobe Bryant cards at all. All right, and then we got uh, some Shaqs. Some Lakers Shaqs, not too bad. Um, these are from 2098, excuse me. So, yeah. Nice little Shaquille O'Neal cards. They looked in pretty decent shape. Centering on a, on this one is kind of iffy, but this one looks pretty nice, both top to bottom and up and and uh, left and right. So can't go bad with these guys. Can't go wrong at all. And then last one right here is gonna be an, an Allen, uh, Ann Allen Iverson, excuse me. And I pretty much just got this one because I mean I was a huge Allen Iverson fan when I was a little kid. Uh, who wasn't right? And then this guy right here. So, this is going to be one of the better finds that I have that I have found in the bargain bin. And this is why I encourage people to look in the bargain bin. Uh, because I found this guy hiding in there. Nice little Kevin Durant second year. It's a 2008. So, um, I, at first I was really astonished. I thought I was going to be a rookie. But a second year Kevin Durant, uh, not too bad at all. And it's in really great condition too. This was just hiding in there. So... Definitely a solid find, um, especially since this did not cost me a dollar. Uh, all of these cost me ten bucks. So yeah, I can't. I'm horrible at math, but some sort of uh, minuscule amount of cents <laughs> uh, is what that cost me. So definitely a sweet find. Uh, might 
I don't, I don't know what the comps are on it, but uh, I mean, it's KD second year. Can never go wrong with something like that. Boom. So guys, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the rip and just uh, look at what I got at the hobby shop today. Um, just wanted to share it with you guys because I think I think we all love you know going through the bargain bins and you know finding cool cards that have like sentimental value or um, potential uh, high dollar cards like this guy right here. So KD baby. All right, guys. So that concludes the video. I appreciate you guys watching. Definitely got more ideas for videos to come. I'm glad I was able to show you guys some different cards, some stuff I've never ripped before. That was super fun. Might go back and get some more of these packs because they were pretty loaded of the Absolute and they were pretty cheap. So we'll see. Maybe a future video on more of those. But until then, guys, I appreciate you watching. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. And thank you for watching. Have a great rest of your day.